Shalom, shalom, shalom. Want to give all glory and praise to the God of Israel, man. You understand me? Yahweh is his name. And to the kings of kings, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the conqueror, the defender for black people, the children of Israel. Yahweh is his name. So I want to say blessed good morning. Morning the evening whenever our people get this video so today is the sixth day of the week um what so-called what march february yeah so-called march yeah so-called march so we just here we just want to praise the most i for health for life for wisdom for knowledge because the most is worthy to be praised brothers and sisters even David tell us that, man. Let everything that had breath, everything that have life, praise Yahweh, man. So we just want to give him thanks and shout him out. And for all the brothers and sisters, man, that is fighting the good fight, put your trust and faith in Yahweh, man. You understand me? We weary, man. The, the scripture says the Satan shall wear out the saints. You understand me? So some days we don't. Because sometimes we believe that we can fight this battle alone. You understand me? Because sometimes the carnal mind tells us that we're strong, man. But then when we overshadow, the most high shows that we need him at all times, man. You understand me? So we have to just make Yahweh where Yahweh shall be our offense. You understand me? There's so much things to protect brothers and sisters. As, as a man, it's our duty to pray for a family, man. You understand me? Pray for your children, man. Protect them. Keep them in the world. You understand me? Because we know this journey. This journey is rough, brothers and sisters. This journey is rough. So we just have to keep in mind. We cannot fight this battle alone. I know some of my brothers, um, we fight lusting. You understand me? So we have to pray to the Most High to take that spirit of lusting away from us. And we can't go into all the commandments because people still indulge in adultery, fornication, stealing, backbiting. You understand me? Covetousness. Good morning. You understand me? So we have to pray to the Most High to clean us, man. Make us clean. As the Psalm said, wash me with this up that I may be clean. So some of you might have to wash yourself with this up, man. Because sometimes it's like every time you try to do good, every try, time you try to be good, you go back in that same dirty habit. Like some of our brothers smoking. You understand me? That's a smoking demons. You understand me? Some of our people still on drugs, still overindulge in alcohol. Those stuff, brothers and sisters, we have to, we have to stay sharp, man. And the Bible says, resist the devil, and the devil shall flee from you. So if we get indulging, drinking where we're drunk, still smoking, still in adultery, still in backbiting, still bearing false witness, guess what? We're not resisting the devil, man. So it's just a way, brothers and sisters, for us to make it to the kingdom of Yah. We have to be clean. Okay, the Bible tells us that in 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. You understand me? No, no idolater, no fornicators, no infeminate, no adulterers, no murderers. None of these people will make it to the kingdom of God. So we know that. So in terms of we know that, what are we supposed to do? Okay, everybody who knows this truth wants to make it to the kingdom of God. Man. So for we knowing that, we have to resist. You understand me? And there's so much things, brothers and sisters. Some I can't even mention. You understand me? And I choose not to mention. Because we're fighting for a soul, man. You understand me? And we have to keep in mind, if Satan can't get our soul in the physicality, in the spiritual aspect, it's still a battle going on there. You understand me? So even after death, the scripture said, come what? Judgment. So even after death, even after your past, 
You have to be strong physically, spiritually, and mentally. You understand me? For when you go in the afterworld, what you will face in the afterworld. Can the scripture tell you when Yahweh shy dead and risen, you have to go to the underworld and free the souls of them that was trapped in the underworld. So no, this is certain things that much camp don't teach them. And maybe they have the same concept as I do in terms of the most high keeping them, making them hold it. Don't bring out certain information yet. So the question is, how did those souls get trapped in the underworld? You understand me? Is it a way like when you leave the physicality, you go there, you have to overcome something? You better believe it, brothers and sisters. So that's why we have to stay away from sin, man. And it's beautiful. Became that concept. I never have that concept a year ago. So what I have to do, I have to take away myself, man. You understand me? And then the most I start to show things. Open up understanding. And it's remarkable what the most I show us, man. You understand me? So even our King David talk about the valley of the shadow of death. We walk every day. We don't even know, brothers and sisters. But I just want to encourage our brothers and sisters, man, to do the right thing, man. Do the right thing. And there's nothing better are more right than what the most I gave us the laws the Bible said the laws was our wisdom amongst the nation Yahweh Shai said if you love me keep my commandments you understand me because we know what keeping the commandments would do and is to us as a nation of people breaking them in the physical gave us poverty you understand me gave us curses Breaking them in the physicality, that's what it done. So oh, that affect us spiritually. So we'll have that conversation and next time, brothers and sisters. So we just have to be encouraged, man. You understand me? And I pray to the Mosai to help all my brothers and sisters who fighting Satan on a daily basis, man. Read the book of Revelation, it says Satan accuses us every day before the Mosai. Satan point out all the problems that we have. So as Yahweh Shai said, pick up our cross, man, and follow him. So brothers and sisters, that's what we have to do today. Do the right thing, brothers and sisters. Some of our people, the Bible tell you, our heart is stony. The Bible also tell us that some of us is what? A hope and sepulchre, a hope and grave. You understand me? Our people... Who know the Israel? Who in the truth? You understand me? We in the truth. But now we become what? Demons knowing the truth, man. Remember Yahweh Shai went in the church in the book of Luke, Mark? And Satan was there, man. The man was possessed in the church. So that's what our people become. You understand me? So our people become all these things. You understand me? Why do you think we're in this position, man? I'm in Africa where so much gold. And the black man control none, man. You understand me? You just go to show you the level what we as a nation of people is on. You understand me? And it's why it take fasting and prayer to cast this spirit off us, man. You understand me? You're going to take fasting and prayer. So we have to be encouraged, brothers and sisters. And we have to overcome. So I pray the most I forgive of all of us, including myself. For all the trespass who trespass against him. I pray the most I may give us a clean heart. Where we can be on the right path. And we be on that right path. It's closer to righteousness for us. But I pray when the most I give that forgiveness. We as a nation of people do the right thing man. You understand me? We do the right thing. As the Bible said to this truth. Many are called. To this truth. Many people come in. But at the end of the day. The Bible says few are chosen. So many are called, few are chosen. So what do we choose to be, brothers and sisters? It's our choice. It's our choice what we choose to be. Because remember, some of us going to go to Yahushai and said, Yahushai, I was on the street, I was teaching a name. I was casting out demons. I had spiritual power, heal the sick. 
And you know what I'm going to say? Depart from me, I know you're not. Nobody wants to hear that word, man. You understand me? Nobody wants to hear that from our king. Our king said, depart from me. I know you're not. You're workers of iniquity. And when I read Matthew 23, tell you what that is about. Some tell people to do, and they themselves wasn't doing. You understand me? Good morning. So like I'm telling a man to keep the Sabbath, and I'm not keeping it. You understand me? So you have a just use us for that purpose. Use us to teach Israel. Use us to heal Israel. Use us to bring out certain information, just like Judas. Judas did have spiritual power. Judas was putting his hand on people and healing them. But now we come down to us, brothers and sisters, to be right, to save our soul. You understand me? This is a fight until Yahweh shall come back. Till Satan is chained. You understand me? Till Satan is bound. You understand me? This is a fight, brothers and sisters. And we just have to do the good fight and stay strong in Yahweh while Yahweh shall. And I pray I can touch somebody out today where we can say, no, I make a change. I'll do the right thing. You understand me? Like myself. Because I cannot teach you and I don't change. You understand me? So I hope we all can change for the better. Where we can make it to God's kingdom. And we can serve the most high like the holy angels does. We praise him. We sing hallelujah. Alalaya. 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 So brothers and sisters, remember your contribution. It's really needed. You understand me? Your tithes, your offering, your contribution. Remember your support, your love offering. For us to push this ministry and continue the great work that we have been doing here in Ghana. In terms of open the eyes of the blind. Raise the dead physically. You understand me? Because our people died dead physically. So we have to come and give teach them back who they are. To come out of Christianity and all this stuff. So just remember to support whatever thing the most high bless your heart with. Stay encouraged. Stay strong. Sabbath come when the sun go down. So have a blessed Sabbath and a blessed day in the name of Mashiach Yahushai.